Hello again, this is Asian Rajib, and welcome to my 36th episode of Black Ops 4 Weapon Guide. In this video, let's take a look at one of the reserve exclusive weapon, the M16. An American classic assault rifle that appears in every Black Ops, the M16 returns once again, this time as a 3 round burst tactical rifle. In multiplayer, there are 3 damage figures with the M16. As you deal 40 damage within close to mid range, 38 damage afterward, and finally 32 at the longest sideline. The ABR223 only deals 38 and 32 damage figures, so the M16 has an edge within its 40 damage range. As for the number of shots, you need 4 shots to kill out to medium range, and 5 at long distance. This means that you always need at least 2 bursts to kill, just like the ABR. Headshot damage sees no significant improvement, but the high caliber 1 will increase the headshot multiplier by 1.75 times, which grants a 1 burst kill potential out to any distance. High caliber 2 is also available and will increase multipliers to neck and chest. Velocity is moderate, standard for its class and usually not an issue save for the S6 Stingray, which is slower. Penetration power is also moderate, and you will need few extra shots to kill someone behind thin walls. Recoil is moderate within the burst, slightly more controllable than the ABR, but can be inconsistent at times when attempting to land 3 shots within a burst on target outside medium ranges. The recoil does settle once the burst is fired. Thankfully, the idle sway is low, I like the ABR where the sway is moderate. Grip 1 and 2 are available and will reduce the kick of the M16. Note that the M16 comes with iron sights, instead of a scope found on other tactical rifles. Aim time is standard at 300 milliseconds and 250 with a quick draw attachment. Mobility is also standard at 95% of the base movement speed. The rate of fire, at least within the burst, is good at 800 rounds per minute. The M16, however, comes with a longer burst delay when compared to the ABR, so the overall fire rate is around 540 rounds per minute. With slower output, missing a shot can easily leave you vulnerable. Hip fire spread is moderate. Spraying from the hip should only be done as a last resort if the enemy is very close. Otherwise, you want to aim with the M16 for most of the time. The magazine side is a bit short from the standard at 30 rounds, or 10 bursts, compared to the ABR at 36 by default. The extended magazine will increase the capacity to 45 rounds, or 15 bursts. Reload time is a bit slow, taking 2.16 seconds to complete. Fast mag will allow you to reload quicker at 1.34 seconds. While the M16 enjoys high damage when in close to mid-range, the overall performance can be inconsistent at times, which can be difficult to use while leveling up for attachments. Speaking of those, the M16 enjoys a wealthy and attractive selection, with high caliber and grip upgrades available. So our class loadout will put a heavy emphasis on the M16 with 6 attachments, they'll give this tactical rifle a better edge against other choices. The default iron sights are somewhat obstructive, and we will spend a point on an optic of your choice. The recon scope is the most flexible, with options of either 2 or 4 times magnification and large scope view. This will aid your mid to long range capability. If you play on tighter maps, the holographic sight is a good alternative with 1.75 times magnification and a large view. For the non-optical attachments, we will enhance the M16's lethality, accuracy, and mobility. So we will be using all three primary gunfighter wildcards in order to equip 5 attachments. First up is the high caliber one, which increases the multiplier to the head, and the second one will do the same to the neck and chest. These damage enhancing attachments will allow us to attain a 1 burst kill potential out to any distance. This will result in a faster time to kill, something that the M16 so desperately needs. 
given that the M16's long range accuracy can be a gamble due to its recoil. Our next set of attachments are Grip 1 and 2. These handling accessories comes in handy to assist us in accuracy department, as both grips will reduce the recoil significantly after aiming down the sights more than a second, making the M16 performs like a laser beam with pinpoint accuracy. This will extend our long range capability, especially with the recon scope. The second benefit will reduce a flinch when taking an incoming fire, as without the attachment, the incoming shot can severely send your aim upward, which will result in a miss. Both grips work well in conjunction with high calibers, ensuring that you don't miss a shot when placing the accurate burst on the enemy. The stock is our final attachment that will increase a strafing speed when aiming. This means that we can keep our sights up and be ready to fire while advancing forward. And you can hang and support with your teammates closer, instead of hanging back from afar. An alternative choice here is quick draw, with faster aim time that will allow us to snap onto targets. This class sacrifices most elements within Creator class, in order to bring the M16 from below average to a desirable tactical rifle. The slower burst delay is the only thing that we cannot mitigate, so it is vital that you keep some distances away from your opponents to retain range and accuracy advantage. Instead of rushing head on, let the enemy walk into your sights. Take your time and play cautiously, will yield greater probability of success. While you can get the one burst kill within its effective range, in reality, you want to fire multiple bursts to ensure a reliable kill, especially against moving or far distant targets. It is best not to worry about landing all three shots for a clean kill. Instead, focus on tracking your aim and fire continuously. Given that our class lacks a secondary, be sure to pick one up from the ground in case you run out of M16's ammo or if the enemy is pushing too close. Any automatic weapons will perform better at closer ranges than the M16. Overall, the M16 is a tactical rifle with some good traits. It is comparable to the ABR-223, as both shares the same 3 round burst mode, and will kill within 4-5 to five shots. But the M16 deals 40 damage from close to mid range, whereas the ABR only deals 38. In practical terms, both will kill within the same number of shots. The M16's downsides are quite severe, however, as it has a longer burst delay, moderate recoil, and obstructive iron sights, making the rifle less consistent as you struggle to land shots on experienced players who tend to be more active and less predictable. Despite all of this, the M16's biggest comeback lies within its upgraded attachments. With the one burst kill potential and really low recoil that will outperform the ABR if your accuracy is on point. The M16 may be tough to handle or easily hated at first. In the end, it can be a well liked weapon, just like in real life. And that concludes the guide of the M16 tactical rifle. For the next episode, we'll be resuming our operation with the Maddox RFB, the last unlock assault rifle. This is Asian with Jeep, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.